Hey everybody, so this is my second video about Hack Reactor. I am currently in my first week of the remote part-time uh, bootcamp. So there's uh, different versions of the bootcamp. There's the full-time, which is three months long, and you're basically working uh, every single day, Monday through Saturday, I believe, and I think you get Sunday off, and you're working from like 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. or something like that, 9, 9, 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., one of those. So, but basically, you're just working all day for most of the week. And the remote part-time is three times slower. So it takes nine months to complete. And you're working on, or you have lectures on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Monday from 6 to 9, Wednesday from 6 to 9 p.m., and then Saturday from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And so I wanted to just kind of recap my journey so far. I don't remember exactly what I talked about in my first video since it's been a while, but basically I have my my process of going through Hack Reactor has been to go through the basic prep first, which is free. You just go on their website and you sign up for it and you learn the basics of JavaScript and some other fundamentals, and then you have to complete a technical assessment. And uh, the technical assessment is over, uh, it's, it's like a group interview um, on Zoom. And then, so you have to pass that, and that, you know, if you go through the basic prep, it's not too hard. And that's, you know, I didn't think it was too bad. And uh, then you do the pre-course, uh, which is basically like you're, it's almost like you're in the boot camp, but it's structured slightly differently. And you have to complete a bunch of assignments, and they have different deadlines for that uh, in a certain time period. And for me, it took me about a month, so about four weeks to complete it. And the to get into the pre-course, you uh, like I mentioned before, you have to pass that technical assessment from basic prep. Then you're in pre-course, and you have to pay a two thousand dollar deposit, I believe, to get access to pre-course. Um, and you join a Slack channel, and it, it's. I thought it was really great because you. this is really your first chance to communicate with all the different people that are seriously uh, taking, uh, you know, going through Hack Reactor and everybody's, um, you know, has all these deadlines and you have people from uh, different groups that are all kind of on the same Slack channel so you can ask people questions and so on and so forth. And the projects are, it's all most likely new material to you. You learn more about JavaScript, you learn about web development specifically with HTML, CSS, and you'd uh, learn jQuery, um, and maybe maybe a couple other things, but um, definitely harder than pre-course, and you have actual deadlines that you have to meet. And you don't have any lectures at this point, you just have deadlines that you complete these projects by, and you can really work at your own pace, at your own, whenever you feel like it and you work solo on all of this work. So like I said, it took me about four weeks and uh, once you complete pre-course, then you have another technical assessment. And this is more of a one-on-one -on -one assessment with, uh, I think there are two people that were on the Zoom call with me for this. One person uh, tested my code and the other person just kind of talked to me about if I had any questions. So they're probably just trying to see if I was a good fit um, culturally. Uh, and personality-wise for the program, they're probably trying to weed out any really unusual people or if people have any sort of, uh, you know, maybe somebody that's really rude or something like that or just just try to get a face to the name, basically. And then the second part of it, like I said, was a coding interview. And they give you a coding problem, which wasn't too hard. If you go do all of the things that are required, in pre-course, which you know, you'll have to to get to this point, um, you should be able to do this technical assessment without too much of a problem. And yeah, so they let you know, you know, how you did, and then they they tell you right in the interview if you know if you can move on. And I suspect most, if ninety nine percent of the people, is my guess, will pass on from the prep, uh, from sorry, from the pre-course to the actual boot camp. Now, don't take my word for it. Maybe there are a lot of people that fail, and I just don't hear about it because people don't really admit that, um, but it could be possible. Now, the one other thing I will mention was that in the pre-course, there are people that had 
gone through the pre-course uh, before. This wasn't their first time going through it. And actually, when I first joined, the deadlines that I was given, because I, I joined that pre-course kind of late, because there's different different sections of pre-course. And the, the section that I ended up joining in, I joined towards the end of it. And they said I only had about a week to complete all my work. And I, it's really impossible to complete all that work in a week. You pretty much need like a month to do it. Maybe you could do it in a week if you already know like all there is to learn about the material in pre-course and then just complete the assignments. But if you're learning the material new for the first time and doing the assignments like I was, you pretty much need like a month to do it and working with other people and so on and so forth. Um, and I also have a full-time job right now. This is why I'm doing the uh, part-time as opposed to full-time. And also right now because of COVID, it's not really might not be a great time to just quit my job and uh, explore a new field because the economy is not doing so great. So it's better to, in my opinion, it was, it was better to keep my job and then do um, the boot camp on the side. That way I still have a source of income and then I can determine uh, even after I finish the program, I, I'll still have my job while I'm searching for a new job. So I think that's just a safer and a smarter decision at this time. Also, all the boot camps are uh, remote right now, even the even the even the full time ones. So that benefit of um, the full time boot camp, which was going to be in person at the campus of Hack Reactor, is just not there right now because of COVID. So anyway, I digress. So back to uh, finishing a pre course. Yeah, I did the technical assessment. Uh, they said I passed, and then about a week week or so later, week, week and a half, the actual boot camp started. And I had the first lecture, first three lectures actually, today is Saturday, so just finished up my Saturday lecture. And the way the actual boot camp works is they do, they do something called pair programming. So you basically get matched with another student for the week and you work together with that person on the sprint for that week and the sprint is basically like a project you're working on together uh, with your partner and the way you do it is one the, the way pair programming works is uh, one person is called the driver and the other person is called the navigator and so the navigator basically talks about the code and the approach to how you're going to solve it so basically just says like the pseudo code and the driver is the person that types it out so the driver kind of makes the decision about what syntax to use or what approach, what, what kind of algorithm or whatever you want to use to solve that problem. So the navigator basically gives like general outline of how we're going to approach solving this and then the driver will actually type out the, 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 the nitty gritty details of the code. So that way both people work on uh, different aspects of their coding, you work on communicating uh, your, uh, your thoughts uh, while you're thinking them, which is kind of hard. For me, I, I, I'm used to just being silent, taking my time to think through things. But then if you're working with somebody, you have to constantly speak your thoughts and you have to improve your ability to work with another person. And they might have a different personality than you, a different approach to solving problems, a different way of thinking and all of that. So it's really a great uh, experience, honestly, because it will help when you are working in real life uh, at a job when you have to pair program with people and also um, when you do interviews and you have to explain out what you're trying to do. So it's uh, it's, it's been a great experience so far. The person that I'm pair, pro pair programming with this week is uh, really cool and we're both able to get through our assignment and learn from each other. And yeah, it's been great so far. And it even with a full-time job, um, it has not felt uh, very hectic. I felt like I've had time to work on uh, my hack reactor work, uh, go to the lectures, and complete my other obligations and responsibilities throughout the week. Now, you know, you, I'm still getting a hang of uh, how the schedule is going to turn out each week, and maybe it, it, I'm. It's probably going to take me a couple of weeks to figure out to get a new routine going. How I can make sure I do all the other things in my life, like working out, chores, uh, hanging out with friends, uh, cooking food, and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
in addition to my job and Hack Reactor. So I think it's, so far it seems like it's going to be possible. It doesn't seem so bad. I suspect it, the workload is going to increase because this week it was mainly recapping the stuff we had done in pre-course. But next week I imagine it's going to get a little bit more intense. So, uh, you know, I'll just have to keep an eye on it and then see how it goes. But hopefully um, this information so far is useful to you. And once again, if you have any questions, uh, please leave them down uh, below in the comments. Thanks.